the house. Hey, good morning, gang. It appears that we have a mouse in the house. Uh, let's see, night before last. Yeah, uh, just as I was getting ready to go to bed, uh, Sharon had already gone to bed, uh, I thought I saw something move on the floor, and I thought, oh my gosh, okay, we got a mouse. So uh, we've been looking since then, and we haven't found any kind of evidence at all, no droppings, nothing. So I had about decided that I had uh, imagined it, just, it was just shadows or something. Uh, even though I, I did go out and I got a, a live catch uh, mouse trap, um, uh, I had decided last night when I went to bed that nah, there's nothing there. Well, we got up this morning and now we have the evidence we definitely have a mouse in the house. This is my uh, drone case. And that is rice. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a mouse in the house. Rats. Here I was just about to sit down and drink a cup of coffee this morning. Okay, so we're trying to figure out where the rice came from. And this is our bag of jasmine rice. And it looks intact. Not open. No, it's not been chewed through. So that rice over there came from someplace. But not from that bag. We have found another place where uh, he has nested a little bit, our little buddy. So uh, all these rags are either going to be thrown out or obviously washed and that kind of thing. But yeah, he's made a, he shredded up some stuff. So anyway. Uh, he also went for uh, some uh, trail mix that we had. Uh, we were eating some trail mix last night. Peanuts. And there was a little bit, so he went for that rather than the peanut butter. <laughs> he ate pretty good yesterday. So, <laughs> right he is nuts. a discriminating mouse, of course. He's Naturally. a hungry thing. <laughs> we don't, we don't let, let just any mice in here. They've got to be discriminating mice. So, um, anyway, he, 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 seems no. to, he seems to enjoy his no food pets. so far. No pets. No pets. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to name him Ralph. No. No pets. No? <laughs> no pets. He's got to go. <laughs> okay, so the mouse has got to go. He's not named Ralph. I don't know what he's going to be named, but anyway. Not any rate. my house. No so mouse. So that's, uh, that's where we are. Yep. Trying to and, find uh, out. Oh, oh, oh. We, we're putting down some, some stuff here. I'm going to let Sharon tell you about that. We got mouse magic. It repels mice. And it's peppermint and spearmint oil. It smells good because I like peppermint and they evidently they don't like it. So we're putting that in all these different areas uh, around the furniture and under the cabinet. Well, I'm not a big fan of uh, peppermint and spearmint. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be a, now a, a question of endurance. Who oh, goes first, the mouse or me? after a little bit. Your nose quits, so you won't smell it. She says. Yeah. <laughs> she says. Okay, so that's our update. You know, I think years ago there was a game called Mouse Hunt, and so that's uh, Mouse Trap. Mouse, mouse Trap. trap. Uh -huh. Okay, so that that's fun. something like that. So that's what we're working on this morning. Um, so a mouse yeah, in the house. Yeah, we found out where the rice came from. Sharon had a uh, one of those uh, neck warmer things. You know, you fill with rice, you put in the microwave. That was on the floor, and he ate a hole in that. So we found out where the rice came from. So we uh, uh. got rid of the rice, uh, vacuumed all that up. We have taken everything apart. Here, I'll just show you. Oh, it's a mess. So, uh, yeah, there's the vacuum out. We got I underneath. We drawers out. We got drawers out. We uh, got underneath the couch, couch and cleaned all that out. I just emptied and, out uh, <laughs> We cleaned out all of this, got under there and vacuumed and cleaned. And, and we're finding almost no evidence of the mouse, almost none. Uh. Like droppings things, so we think he hadn't been here long. So um, where I saw him the other day, I was under here. I saw something move down here, and um, open. on this cabinet, as you can see, you can actually this is not closed. So because the uh, our heating our heater is back here, as you can see back up there. But at any rate, so that's where he was. So we think that's um, his point of ingress. And so that black thing is as well. 
Oh, oh yeah. So one of the things we did, we got us a uh, a trap. A trap. Not a live so trap. It's a live trap. trap. <laughs> so the deal is, he comes in here and then he steps on this, and the little gate back here closes. And we so. put peanut butter in there. And we put peanut butter in here, but apparently. He don't like peanut butter. So yeah, there's a couple of other things that we're doing. Um, we're taking all of the soft packages out of the pantry and we're putting them in our ice chest. He can chew through plastic. He can chew through cardboard. The only thing I'm leaving is cans. He yeah. can't get in the cans. Now, there's no evidence that he's been in the pantry. No. But um, since we're removing all of the food. easily accessed food sources down here, he may get creative and decide to venture up there. So uh, we've done all of that. And we're going to put it in our ice chest and all the stuff. Yeah, anything at... Um, well, that I has got a soft onions package. and potatoes and apples. I mean, he could eat that. He could, yeah. yeah. So so anything in a soft package or any, any of our fresh fruits, that kind of stuff, it either goes in the ice chest or it goes in the refrigerator. So one way or the other. Well, good morning, gang. Uh, well, this update of our mouse, we have success. We've caught our mouse. And so where he is, let me turn my flashlight on here so we can see him, he's under here. And look, right there, there is our little mouse in the trap. He doesn't like the bright light, but we're going to take him out of there in a minute. We're going to take him a uh, two miles away, they say, and let him go. Well, he's awake now and moving around. Not very happy that he's in there, but he seems perfectly fine. Still trying to eat the peanut butter. I figure out what's going on here, so we will uh, take him away. He's even going to wash his face. So while we're standing here looking at this, uh, this is a new trap that we got. Now what happens here is that there is bait on this end that he can't quite get to, and this is a, a trap door here. So this comes down, and then whenever uh, he walked in to get to the bait over here. He saw this little release here and that spring loaded door then closed. Worked very well. He's fine. He's probably not very happy, but he's fine. So um, we're going to take him away and let him go out in the field somewhere. He is a field mouse after all. Okay, so it's early morning. Uh, I just came back from releasing our mouse in the field, and no, I'm sorry, I forgot to take video of that. <laughs> You're I, too busy getting. I him was up. too busy getting him out of the truck. His, uh, he seemed to enjoy his one car ride in life. Um, <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, we he's took free. him. He's free, so we took him um, a couple miles down the road to a. Uh, there was a historical marker that was easy to pull off, so. Pulled off there, walked over into the grass a little bit, and released him, and he ran off. Yeah, happy so, Christmas. we believe we're mouseless now. Yes. But uh, we're probably going to leave the traps out for another day or so and just see if anything else develops. Because he may not have been alone. We don't, we just don't know. I hope he didn't have friends. So, uh, probably he didn't have friends. It was just him. So, we'll see. But uh, that's that's the plan. Happy mouse. Happy so, um, <laughs> we can highly recommend those... Um, those things. Those mouse traps, <laughs> those life traps. that We got them on Amazon, by the way. I mean, they were 13 bucks, I think, for two of them, something like that. Yeah, they were. So, um... They like peanut butter. Yeah. Okay, gang, we are now uh, a couple of days later, and uh, we've left the traps out, but we have not seen any recurrences of uh, any mousel activity. So we're going to go forward, and in the future, we're going to make sure that all of our bay doors are closed, because we actually think that's where he got in, was uh, I inadvertently left one of the bay doors open when we were down in Grand Teton, so we think we probably picked him up there. But uh, we're not absolutely sure, but uh, that's, what we're, that's what we're going to go with. So, that's our story. We're trying to, to stink him out of here. <laughs> yeah, so the well, question is... Stinky house, he'll leave. Howdy, partner. Now you come along for the ride, and you come and subscribe, and, you know, thumbs up, hit that bell.